Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Big Daddy Mo back at it again with another reaction video. So A24 released mm, 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 I bit my tongue. So A24 released the trailer for their new movie, The Iron Claw, starring Zach Efron. It's about a, a family of wrestlers. Uh this is before my time. This was in the 60s, so I don't know the family. And it's about time we get some some more wrestling movies because I swear wrestling doesn't does not get uh the respect it deserves. Shit, excuse me. Whew, I just had a drink not too long ago. But it doesn't get the respect it deserves. I mean, bro, like The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke, great movie. Fighting with my family about Paige. It's free on YouTube. Check it out. Great movie. And the, the actual documentary, Fighting with My Family, is also on YouTube. Y'all should check that out. I will put that in the description bar. But, um... Yeah, I, mean, I remember I kept seeing all those videos and uh, and pictures of Zac Efron looking like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Hilarious. But, um, hey, let's get into this. I'm so sick of this again. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, nothing had ever hurt us. Oh, he run on those ropes. I believed him. We all did. Morning. Pants tomorrow, please, David. Oh, Terry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. Woo! Now, we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the rankings can always change. Damn. Damn. Kevin Von Eric. More ribs. <laughs> I want to be with my family. You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? Together, we can do anything. We're here to restore justice to the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us. The hands that will deliver the iron claw to you. So what do you think? Like we're alive. I love your family, Kevin. Don't be an uncle? Yes, sir. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. I talked to you about something, Mom. Dad's too tough on us. You gotta say something. Baby, that's what your brothers are for. Feel that? Ah. You feel that? Ah. That's pressure. You need to push it too hard. I'm fine, Kev. Seriously, I'm just sick. I'm scared, man. It all matter control. That's a terrible accident. I should have stopped him. I need to think about my family. Your job is to wrestle. Live up to that deal, or we are through. I told you to look out for him! I just love being out there with you guys. It's the only thing that matters to me. The father will forever be the greatest family in the history of wrestling. Is that Ric Flair? Hold on, was that Ric Flair? You guys, it's the only thing that matters to me. The father will forever be the greatest family in the history of wrestling. My bad, my bad. That looked like Ric Flair. History of wrestling. Yep, that was Ric Flair. That was Ric Flair. Nice. That movie looks good. I am definitely checking that movie out. Like I said, I love I love wrestling. I grew up on it. I started watching wrestling back in 90, 98, 99. I for sure remember it in 99. I mean, I'm, I was eight years old, so it's not that much I remember. But, but wrestling, the first episode of SmackDown, yes, I remember that. Man, The Rock, Triple H. I remember I used to hate Triple H. Like I, I used to hate Triple H as much as uh, as much as Jr. hated Triple. That son of a bitch! Like I hated Triple H. Now that I'm older, I realize how great Triple H was as a heel, because he had all of us hating him that damn much. Like wrestling does not get the respect it deserves. People keep saying, "Oh, it's fake. It's fake, nigga." It's predetermined. Okay, it's all in the script. They get there, they go over their matches, so they actually have a routine and all of that. Yes, it's predetermined. They already know who's going to win. The punches, yes, those are, you know, 
I'm not gonna say they're fake, but they're they're definitely pulling their punches. You know what I'm saying? But some injuries, that's not fake. People dying in the ring, that's not fake. They're athletes. They are still athletes. You know what I'm saying? Just because they're not running around with a with a, a football and all that, and it's actually determined by how good they are. You know, you know, like with the you know people like Kobe Bryant and all that. I mean, all this is still skill. You know what I'm saying? Now NBA, uh, NFL, all the other sports, yes. You know, that's not predetermined. They are actually going out there, playing, doing their best to win. Here, it's entertainment. It's predetermined. They already know that The Undertaker is going to win the title. So they get there, and they're sitting there going over all the moves and all that, and how they're going to finish it. Yes, we know that. But this is the thing, though. It's entertainment. And what I love about that is you, you watch UFC, and UFC is you know, still entertaining. But because it's not predetermined and this is actually them fighting to see who's going to lose, man, that shit could be done in like five seconds, which there's been a bunch of fights like that. You sitting there paying money. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, Ronda Rousey. I can't wait to see. Nigga, the match is done in 48 seconds. But here we are. Oh, man. The Undertaker versus Triple H. We're sitting there for 30 minutes watching this amazing fight. So, like, you know, get, put put some respect on, um, on wrestling, man, because wrestling is entertaining as hell, bro. All these characters, bro. Undertaker? A zombie biker? You know what I'm saying? Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is the thing. People talk shit about talk about shit about wrestling, but they can still they still talk about uh Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, Triple H, Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio. Like, I'm telling y'all, man, put some respect on wrestling name, bro. Y'all ain't going to keep playing, bro. I'm going to still watch that shit, bro. When I have some kids, I'm going to have them watch it. I got a niece. Guess what? Guess what? I'm taking her to see wrestling. Shit. So, yeah, get out of here. But the Iron Claw, I'm definitely checking this out. It looks good. A24 is always uh, A24 is always putting out some good work. So, yeah, I'm excited for this moment. I'm going to check it out. But the Iron Claw, thoughts on the trailer? Comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, fuck that. Who's your favorite wrestler? Because mine used to be Will Stone Cold Steve Austin for the longest. It was always between him and Undertaker. But I'm going to have to go Undertaker just because of, I mean, he went 20, 20 years longer than Stone Cold. So he was able to put on classic matches and do a lot more where Stone Cold, his career was cut short. Now, if he stayed as long as um, Undertaker did, he'd probably be my number one. Honestly, fuck it. I, I, still, I still debate. I still might just have both of them at number one. Bro. Undertaker and Stone Cold, those are two, my two favorites. But who is your favorite wrestler? <laughs> and uh, if y'all want to see me uh, you know, check out another video, also throw that down in the comment section below, and I'll get to it when I can. And as always, I will see y'all next time. Peace.